Hey everyone, it's Casey McHugh and I am back again today. I am standing inside of my living room and kitchen. We just actually finished up furnishing the rest of my living room here. But today what I'm gonna explain to you is actually the custom Airbnb suite that I have in this house. So to give you guys a little bit of an idea, if you followed my custom home build here, you may have an idea that I actually have a custom Airbnb room separate from the rest of the house. But I'm just gonna show you exactly what my reasoning behind that was so we'll exit out the front door here we go in kind of a uh, side yard here that paths down the side of my house however we first come into a wrought iron door here where I can lock this and have privacy for any incoming Airbnb guests and then on the flip side there's actually another wrought iron gate here that I can lock probably gonna leave it open a majority of the time. Airbnb individuals will be able to go through that gate, come through here and actually be able to enter into the custom Airbnb suite. So here we are, we furnished this completely, actually made it official today, it's on Airbnb. The intention here is to have somewhere that I keep up with and I can rent out, especially for people that come into town that I know, but also this will help substantially cover a good portion of my mortgage. So I met with the builder Conrad Homes here in the Dallas area. At the beginning of the year, they had a couple home options for me that had a small backyard and had three bedrooms. There was nothing outside of just having really a roommate that could really help compensate or pay a portion of my mortgage. My intention with meeting with them was to possibly draw out something that would not just have one roommate that would be helping me pay my mortgage. So the idea was to actually build a custom Airbnb suite. So that's exactly what I did. I sat down with an architect and drew out a plan that would work. And here we are, about uh, 11 months later, we have fully furnished this place. It's ready to go and ready to get rented out. This actually used to have access to the rest of the house. This little cove over here was actually framed out. And eventually, if I do decide to resell this place, We'll just basically bust out that wall and put a door there. So this will be a true guest suite that will have access to the rest of the house. So there's pros and cons to having a roommate versus having an Airbnb suite. I have one of both. I could have easily just made this into another guest room and had another person just living in the same communal space, but the opportunity for income on an Airbnb suite is gonna be substantially higher than having a roommate. I'm gonna be getting between 13 and $1,400, including utility costs from a roommate. However, in terms of the potential income with this Airbnb suite, I mean, we're talking something in the $2,000 to $2,500 a month with the Airbnb suite. So to give you guys some quick rundown on numbers, I did get a 15 year mortgage on this property. I had the option to definitely do a 30 year mortgage, but with the interest rate, as well as the options with a 15 year mortgage, that's the route that I went. So at the end of the day, my mortgage is going to run me about $4,400 a month. Uh, to give you guys a little bit of insight, if I would have done a 30 year mortgage, it would have probably saved me about $1,000 a month. Uh, $3,400, $3,600 a month. But again, I went with a 15 year. Um, that's going to be in a later video. I'm actually going to use the equity down the road to use a HELOC or take out a HELOC on this property probably five to seven years down the road. But my mortgage is about $4,400. My roommate's gonna take care of $1,400 of that. And if you assume $2,000, $1,500 to $2,000 a month with the Airbnb suite, we're talking $3,500, you know, $3,000, $3,500 worth of my mortgage covered. So at the end of the day, I may spend $1,400 a month total max for owning a brand new property. Obviously the numbers are going to be different depending on your mortgage, your down payment, and all the other potential causes that could fluctuate that. This gives me another opportunity to just have additional income outside of a roommate and additional income on top of that, meaning that this Airbnb suite is going to be more profitable than a roommate. Make sure to stay tuned. My intention here is to give you guys updates throughout the entire process of the pros and the cons. Obviously this being my first Airbnb, it's going to be interesting to see how well or not well it goes from a lot of the friends that I do know that have Airbnbs. All they have said is plenty of good things, but I know 
Being a landlord myself, there's going to be some downsides as well. So stay tuned. My intention again is to give you guys updates throughout the entire process and just how profitable renting out this guest suite will be. Thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. It definitely does help and stay tuned. I'm going to be filming here shortly my house tour video with all the furnishings done. So stay tuned.